We're bringing back a popular format with today's video, which will be in the form of a quiz on an ILS approach. This is the ILS under runway 13 at Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Here's the first question. You load the approach into your GPS beginning at the Fighting Tiger Vortac. What sequence do you expect to see on the flight plan page? LSU, Relay, Razaj, Rundi, Runway 13. LSU, Rundi, Procturn, Razaj, Rundi, Runway 13. LSU, Rundi, Procturn, Razaj, Rundi, Runway 13. Or LSU, Razaj, Rundi, Runway 13. We'll put up a timer and give you a few seconds. This question is another way of asking how this approach will be performed. We're going to be doing a procedure turn on this one. Starting from the LSU VOR, we take a feeder route identified by the boulder line and arrow to the initial approach fix, Rundi. Then we fly outbound and execute the procedure turn as depicted. Once established inbound, we pass Razaj, Rundi, and then arrive at the missed approach point, the runway threshold. Here's what the whole sequence looks like on the GTN 650. For the next question, how can the final approach fix be identified on the localizer only approach? By the outer marker beacon, DME, cross radial, or all of these? All of these can be used to identify the final approach fix, which is the Rundi intersection. We know Rundi is the final approach fix by the Maltese cross symbol shown there on the profile view. The shaded football shape symbol on the plan view indicates a marker beacon located at the FAF. The DME distance at Rundi is shown as 4.9, and the 030 radial from the Fighting Tiger VOR can be used to identify Rundi. Besides these, if you had GPS, you could of course use that to know where Rundi is. For the next question, we'll look at the notes section. If we're going to use Baton Rouge in the ILS approach in our alternate planning, what weather minimums do we need to have? 600 foot ceiling and two miles of visibility, 800 foot ceiling and two miles of visibility, it depends on if the mouser is available, or you should consult the terminal procedure publication. We need to consult the terminal procedure publication. The standard minimums for a precision approach like this ILS are 602, but the presence of that black triangle with an A means that there are alternate minimums found in that section of the TPP. For Baton Rouge, this approach has notes 1, 2, and 4, which state that the ILS and LOC minimums go up for CAT C and D aircraft, that we can't use this approach as an alternate if the tower is closed, or when local weather isn't available. Note that if we're a CAT A or B aircraft and everything else is working, the 602 minimums for the ILS still apply. Last question, let's look back at the approach plan view. What entry prohibits you from doing the procedure turn? The LSE Vortac, Rundi, Rack, or Relay. It's Rack. Procedure turns are mandatory when depicted, with some exceptions. One of those exceptions is when a route shows no PT, no procedure turn, which is what we see on the segment from Rack to Relay. What we do instead is turn inbound at Relay directly to the approach course. These weren't easy, but how did you do? Let us all know in the comments, and don't forget to head over to the Flight Insight website linked here and in the description for more training and to check out our ground schools today.